Okay, today what I'd like to do is show you guys how to write from standard form into factored form. So we start with our standard form. And one trick to make our life a lot easier is to try to simplify this as much as we can. So to simplify it, I'm going to try to get rid of this 2 if I can, my leading coefficient of 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. If I can divide all these by 2, it will make my life easier, and I can. So 2x squared divided by 2 gives me 1x squared. 8x, positive 8x divided by 2 gives me a positive 4x. And negative 10 divided by 2 gives me a negative 5. I can't forget about that 2, so I'm going to just write it over to the side and kind of forget about it for a while until I need to come back to it. All right. The method I'm going to show you guys today is called the rainbow method. It's called the rainbow method because we draw a little rainbow over the top and we use that to determine our factors. We multiply 1 times negative 5 gives me negative 5. And then I take my b value of 4 and I write it next to it. I want two numbers that are going to multiply to be negative 5 and they're going to add to be 4. Okay, so I start with 1 and work my way down. So 1 and negative 5, when I multiply them, give me negative 5. When I add them, they give me negative 4. Well, it's almost. That's not what I want. Oh, I'm going to put an X. That's not what I want. I want positive 4. So I'm going to change the sign of all these. That's my trick. Change the signs of everything. It should give me a positive 4. So a positive 1 becomes negative 1, a negative 5 becomes a positive 5. Negative 1 plus positive 5 gives me a positive 4, and that's what I was looking for, a positive 4. I found it. So here's my two factors I was kind of searching for. I'm going to write them over here, and these are factors, so it's going to be parentheses, x minus 1, and it's going to be x plus 5. My last step to the rainbow method is I need to take get a different color. I need to take this a value and divide each one of these terms by that a value. So divided by 1, divided by 1. Oops, I lost my okay. So in this case when it's like this, when I have a 1 right here it makes my life it's pretty easy. So 1 divided by 1 is just 1. So I'm left with x minus 1. And 5 divided by 1 is just 1. So x plus 5. I can't forget about that 2. I'm going to bring that in. And say this is y equals 2, x minus 1, x plus 5. If I were to FOIL all this out, it would lead me back to 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. Alright, the second type I'm going to show you is when I can't divide by that a value. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to take 5 divided by 5, 42, negative 42 divided by 5, 16 divided by 5. This works. 5 divided by 5 is 1, but 42 divided by 5 doesn't work. It has to end in a 0 or a 5 to be divisible by 5. So that's not going to work, but I can still use my rainbow method. Rainbow method says take my first times my last, my A times my C. This gives me 80. And then take my B value, negative 42. Two numbers that multiply to be 80 and add to be negative 42. Well, start with 1. 1 times 80 is 80. 80 plus 1 is 81. That didn't work. 2. 2 times 40 gives me 80. 2 plus 40 equals 42. Hey, that worked almost. But it needs to be a negative 42. 
So remember, my trick is to change the signs of all these. Negative 2, negative 40 gives me a negative 42. That worked. Circle it. I'm going to write it out here. So this is going to be, oh, we're not a room. So this is x minus 2 and x minus 40. I couldn't get rid of that a value, so instead of it being 1 like over here, it's really 5. So divide it by 5. Divide it by 5. Well, this doesn't reduce, so it's still x minus 2 fifths. But this one does. x negative 40 divided by 5 gives me 8. x minus 8. I don't like fractions, I don't know about you, but we can fix this and we're going to. So whenever I get an x minus a fraction that can't be reduced, I'm going to take the denominator and just move it over here. So this becomes 5x minus 2 times x minus 8. Put a y equals in front and there we are. This is a little bit different of a factor form than we've seen before because we have a 5 in front of the x, but that's okay. It works exactly the same way. So now we have our factor form of 5x minus 2 times x minus 8. And again, if I were to FOIL this out, it would give me the same equation, my standard equation. Thank you.